Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be building Johnny Lee's $14 camera stabilizer. It's a very simple to build. It consists of a 2.5 pound barbell weight or 5 pound depending on how much weight you think you need, 3 10 inch half inch um, steel pipes, uh, 3 half inch end caps for the steel pipe, uh, a half inch T, some washers, some wing nuts, some nuts, some lock nuts, and I've got a few extra things in here that I wanted to use to make it a little more stable. And uh, two one and a half inch, uh, quarter inch carriage head bolts. His instructions start with uh, assembling the handle, so we'll just do the same thing. I'm gonna open up this pipe and the T and an end cap. Let's get all this started here. Some tools it's good to have while you're building this are a vise. Uh, you need a drill with a quarter inch bit, a wrench, uh, he suggests a screwdriver. I don't think I need a screwdriver. And a pipe wrench it would be my suggestion for uh, assembling all this pipe. Since this is the handle, it can be as tight as you want. I'm probably going to tighten it all the way down until it stops. There's your handle, T, end cap, half inch pipe. Next we're going to drill the two end caps. My end caps turned out to be uh, galvanized. Everything else was iron and Lowe's was out of any more iron end caps. So you're going to want to Check your end cap up in the vise. Try to get a level here. Put some uh, cutting lube down in there. And take your drill. You want to try to center it in the end cap as well as you can. It's a nice clean hole. It could be more centered, but it'll do. Second one. Still a little off, no big deal. I'm going to start with the weight in first. He kind of does it differently and does the camera stabilizer in, but that's okay. I've got two one and a half inch flange washers. And these go on either side of the weight, like so, to hold it on to the end cap. I've got seven quarter by one inch washers that are going to go in the center of the weight to help center the bolt in the weight. So we're going to follow one of Johnny's suggestions. Take the carriage head bolt, set it in the washer like that, set the weight on the vise. We're going to kind of center it in there. And he uses it as a foot sometimes. I think that's a great idea. I'm going to do it too. I'm going to take my five pound sledge and dent the washer in so that you have a nice level surface to set the stabilizer on. Maybe. I'll take this, just like that, take my seven washers, drop them right in the center of the weight.
take my top flange washer, put it on there like so. You should have a nice little sandwich in there. Now we're going to take our end cap. We're going to take our sandwich weight, put the end cap on the bolt, take a lock washer, and a nut, and just drop the one. Lock washer goes down in the end cap, and the bolt, the nut goes on the bolt. We're going to open up our second pipe, stick that bad boy down in there. Go ahead and put our handle on. Stick my pipe wrench down on this end cap here. Let's tighten her up. Starting to look like a stabilizer. Next, we're going to build the camera mount. For that, you need your wing nuts. Quarter 20. We're going to take our second end cap we drilled. Our last piece of pipe. And throw this together. We're going to take our carriage head bolt and our one and a half inch flange washer and dent this also. So our carriage head bolt is going to go in the end cap like this. Then we're going to take a lock washer, put it on the bolt. And then we'll take another quarter inch nut, tighten this all down. You want this to be very tight. Now we've got this assembled, you take your wing nut, you put it on the bolt upside down and spin it on. And you take your dented flange washer, just like that, and that'll go up against the bottom of your camera. You screw your camera right onto that bolt. So we're just going to go ahead and assemble the camera mount onto the rest of the stabilizer. And tighten this all down. And you're done. Johnny Lee's $14 camera stabilizer. I spent about $20 on it. I bought a bunch of extra hardware. You never know when you'll drop something or when you'll break a flange washer hammering on it with a sledgehammer. Links will be in the description along with the parts breakdown. Thanks for watching.